Staff from Barker! Beautiful. I mean, weren't too bad. You know how hard it is just to do one dance a week. These guys are preparing for three at finale. How do you think they're feeling at the moment? I mean, they obviously must be extremely excited and grateful to be there. He was part of your lineup last year, and it was devastating when we had to lose him. You must be thrilled that he, he's done I so well this so year. I am so happy. I think for me as well, Jamie. Afron, <laughs> Joanna. <laughs> But first up today, a quarter of children have been out of school at any one time since half term in some areas of England. That might be because I now. Next up, there are loads of new video games out right now. So here's Alex with a sneak peek. Thanks, Alex. OK, time for a quick roundup of some other stories around today. And next. It looks like you've been getting as Christmassy as I have with my Christmas jumper here, but you've sent us... Amazing, guys, thank you. And stay with us because we've got loads of this coming up. But first, there have been amazing breakthroughs in science in the last year, helping to create... Now, take a look at these amazing pictures of tens of thousands of... I'm guessing. Thanks, guys. On Morning Live today, Dame Esther Ranson tells us why a simple phone call can completely change someone's life. And Frank can save your life, just like it did for her. Plus, we're joined by one of Britain's leading cosmetic doctors as he tells us how to treat maskne. That's the havoc caused to some people's faces by wearing face masks, as well as revealing why an avocado may be better and cheaper for your face than expensive creams. Does the is, does it have any effect? Is that, like, is, does that make the vaccine less effective? And I'm sure you can empathise with this. I mean, you've been very a sport <laughs> relief, and for the first time in what maybe seven years, you have a panic attack. Do you so see at nine fifteen. <laughs> Hello and welcome to your Wednesday One Show with Alex Scott and Alex Jones. Oh, are you feeling Christmas, yo? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to get there. I've not done my Christmas shopping yet, but I want my sparkles for you today. You know what? I'm loving the boots and the sparkly shake. My shake. Shake. Oh. <laughs> I think we could all do it with a burst of sunshine right now. And tonight we are bringing you some despite the weather. We sure are. We had to go to California, mind you. Yes, we're going to be joined by the star of Spooks and Les Mis. It is David Oyelowo, live from his home in LA. Absolutely. Wait, and get your mirror balls at the ready because we've got some Strictly Sparkle just days away from seeing the new champion crowned. Very exciting. Oh, see, I oh, love that one. That it's one. so hard. I it love them really all. They but are great. we have just the man to guide us through their chances. He's warming up right now in our green room. It is a trophy. But it's Wednesday, and I'm guessing that nerves will really be kicking in now for the... I bet it did. <laughs> uh, send your guesses and any questions you've got for and played carols for people to sing along to at home. And I mean, but, you know, I mean... <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll, <laughs> all of us <laughs> together. We'll do a three-hander. Gosh, you can watch some more of David's classic Spooks episode right now. Hit the red button and go to iPlayer. Tomorrow, Richard Curtis, Helen George and John Barrowman are here and we'll see you at 7 o'clock. A tale of murder and friendship in Cardiff Stocklands. The film is, of course, Tiger Bay. Years on, she's back in the Welsh capital, where it all started. In a funny way, it's kind of like a spiritual home. So the only man who can pull off a Christmas jump. Unbelievable. Uh, should we have a chat about some of the other stories as well? John, you've got one you, you want to talk about. All kinds of forms. People perceive angels in different ways. So the way that I might see an angel is the classic physical bodies, the rivals. Plus, it is not Christmas without Christopher Biggins. He's going to be here cooking. Uh, he's going to be cooking his favourite festive dish. So we will see you tomorrow at 12.30. Cue, sing, cammy. What? Throughout the pandemic, we've heard the refrain, test, test, test. We're no longer just testing those with symptoms, we're testing those without them too. And now the government has announced that schools are going to start mass testing asymptomatic teachers and pupils from January with lateral flow and PCR tests both being used. Both of these need swabs to be taken, but only PCR needs a lab. The tests will determine if a child can continue at school or they and their family have to isolate. Dr Angela Raffle has worked as a consultant to the UK National Screening Programmes. 
She says the benefits and harms of this kind of scheme are not yet properly known. We're told that they're A very good evening to you. We've got cloudier skies as we slide into the weekend. We've got some rain moving its way through and all the while some milder air trying to work its way in too. We've got some rain and drizzle to end the week, particularly across uh, parts of Scotland and northern England. And then something of a drier rain. Low cloud keeping it very much on the murky side further east. Rain through the course of the morning will keep it disappointingly dull and damp. Behind this, clearer skies and some cheerful sunshine, albeit low weak winter sunshine. And you're finally, I, it turned out I wasn't right for, but yeah. they said you want to play Fallon instead. So, yeah. God, that's and like, that's amazing. That's straight out of dance school. You're then in the show for 20 years. I I'm is 70 years old. So we are playing a game of older or younger than the archers. <laughs> right. So, Na dyfori, bydd cyngerdd arbennig iawn yn eglwys gyderol a berhonddi yn ffrydio dros y byd i gyd. Ie, yeah, y dyn sy'n trefnu'r cyfan ar ran y tu opera metropolitan yn Efrog Newydd, y dyn neb. A chynnos gystu'r fraint o gael gair efo'r dyn i hun ynddo. O, do, mae wastad yn bleser. Ah, oh, every day I'm going to Yeah, I feel like I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a little their way in with a northerly airflow very much to blame for the in football there were mixed fortunes for our teams bristol city swindon town and weymouth all suffered defeats but bristol rovers cheltenham and forest green rovers set up plenty more news on our website we'll be back tomorrow june good morning britain until then have a lovely evening bye bye shopping center that provides food and support for the city's homeless has reopened following a major refurbishment the wild goose cafe which is based in eastern underwent a huge renovation alex wood went along in rugby, Bristol Bears snatched a late win last night against Northampton. Fly half Sam Bedloe scored a last minute penalty against the visitors, providing a dramatic finale to a nail biting game. Now, I've got something really practical that actually you might want to get for you. It could be a gift for somebody if they have this problem. And I think as women, we all have the most simplest invention. Why didn't we think of this before? And why don't all wardrobes come with them? Because we need this, it makes sense and it means you could be more organized. So this one could be for your coats, this one could be for your fleeces, another one could be for your dresses, another one for shirts. So everything's nicely organized. That is as simple as that, there's no magic tricks. It's, it's just a brilliant, brilliant little tool. And we're gonna give you eight of these. So you get it home in January, you know, when you're refurbishing the house, whatever it is, put them on, put your clothes in, hang them up and you're gonna be so organized in black and... Hello and welcome to The One Show with Alex Jones. And my friend, my namesake, and my co-presenter this evening, Alex Scott is back. Hi, Al, welcome Hi. back. I know, thanks. Well, it was great to be back with you. It's Friday, what more can I want? We've got a brilliant night coming we up. Do, we can we? try to match our outfits. That is friend I think right I think there. we've done a good job. Well, I'm sure they're going to tell us on Twitter There'll be later comments on. now. <laughs> but we've got a lot to look forward to tonight. Comments on this show about a year ago, and they were incredible. Oh. They were amazing. Right, one more question, OK? Darren on Twitter asks, what will Robbie and Jamie buy each other? Sweet, but the message gets across, doesn't it? Congratulations to Shannon Courtney returning to winning ways in style. A superb performance from her. And to get the stoppage win as well, the icing on the cake, George. Yeah, definitely, and it was a good stoppage. It, it, great. It's, a, it's a relief. She can move. And, of course, to you at home for watching... A it's musicals week. And I'm treading the boards with JJ and Amy. There they are. Just had your rehearsals a bit earlier on. Yeah. How'd you go? Um, yeah, good actually. This week there's all sorts of, you know, there's props. There's a lot to deal with going on around you. So when you come in to block it out, 
you know, you haven't been practicing with some of the props and some of the items. Yes. Don't want to give too much away, but that throws you a little bit. So it's getting that into your head and then just becoming comfortable with the magic. You've had a great week because Ian Wake gave him the gold star. I know. That's good news, isn't it? <laughs> I it's was got really the confidence. Happy. Yeah. He must be happy as a teacher seeing that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think he's done really well. And he's really coming into his character this week. Well, I was going to say, it's chitty, chitty, bang, bang. Are yeah. you truly scrumptious? I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? You've got to go into these characters every week. You're not... You... So now here we are for the final, but the excitement hasn't changed in that time. At the beginning, there were people coming here to the castle, entrance to take photographs, and just tonight, there's been a steady stream of people doing exactly the same thing. Across Wales, it's been a big talking point. And Tomorrow morning, Oscar, you are two today, half our five today. Happy birthday. Let's guess what is here right now, and it's a really cold day. Brrr send us a Christmas drawing, please do, milkshake at milkshake.tv. Let's save the day now with Fireman Sam. Hello. Hello. How are you? You all right? I'm all right. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Nice to see you, you again. Too. You look lovely. <laughs> thank you. So do you. You look very smart. Thanks very much. How are you doing? You right? I'm all... In the studio here at Sandown today is Ed Elmore Runnan and uh, Mick Fitzgerald. Good afternoon, guys. Mick, I'll start with you. We've got the parade ring and the winners. Thanks, Dan and Sally. On the morning live today, with tens of thousands of children facing a present free Christmas this year as a result of the pandemic, Nikki Chapman's been finding. Staying with inspirational acts, we're kicking off December by celebrating some of your incredible acts of kindness this year. I challenge you not to feel a bit better about the world after hearing the amazing story we've got coming up. And as if that wasn't enough, Strictly fans are calling it the Ant Judge. But will he do it again? We'll find out from the man himself. Live things are beginning to look a lot like Christmas here in the studio this morning. And after the, the game, Neil Lennon said himself, backs him and thinks that he should be given more time to try and turn things around at Celtic. All right, you'll be back with more of the on-pitch stuff uh, half past the hour. Yes, we'll see you then. Thanks, Amy. As promised with the sports news. Hi, Amy. Hi, Martin. Thank you very much. Good evening. Well, I think a lot of people will have been wondering if this would be the day that Neil Lennon would depart from his role as Celtic manager. But I can tell you, he is still very much in place this evening. So despite another disappointing defeat against Ross County, as it stands, Lennon will be in the away dugout when Celtic face Milan at the San Siro on Thursday. For joining us this evening, first, I suppose, are you surprised that Neil is still in a job? As manager but when Celtic face Milan at the San Siro on Thursday he will be in the dugout that may surprise some I will just go completely blank as you collapsed in all you know sub three hour marathons and you suffer a cardiac arrest why did that happen how did you feel when you finished that next marathon you know I can only imagine you must have been overcome with with emotion the finishing that race that first marathon all around like was just Take it out of the highest price point and then take it down 5% and then another 5% and eventually you'll be able to... Great, thank you. Yeah, great. thanks for that. That's great advice. <laughs> We've also got... Williams, Luke Kempner and Jackie Smith. Hello. Before we bring you all the Pro 14 action, let's go back to Saturday and Park Scarlets, Wales against England. And despite Eddie Jones's side being overwhelming favourites, a 24-13 win for England wasn't the hammering many had expected for Wales. Right then. Let's concentrate on the Pro 14 and for the first time in nearly a month, the Dragons were back in action. They were looking for only their second win of the campaign away to Benetton, who was still winless. Yeah, Rodri Williams very happy with that result. But boys, what did you make of that one? Saturday. And believe it or not, there will be a Welshman lining up for Italy in that squad. Stephen Lorenzo Varney. He's had quite the season, as Laura Jane Jones found out. Good afternoon. There's been a large explosion at a warehouse in Avonmouth on the outskirts of Bristol. It happened at 20 past 11 this morning. Avon Fire and Rescue Service has confirmed there are casualties. Richard Payne is live there for us now. Richard, what more can you tell us? very much. Well, we've just been speaking to one man who was working nearby when the explosion happened and here's what he had to say. Well, there'll be updates on this developing story on our website. There are the details. In other news, this lunchtime, a Somerset hospice has warned it faces a £2 million deficit this year with fundraising decimated by the pandemic. So
And that's all from the lunchtime team for now. I'll be back at six o'clock with John T with updates on the explosion at Avonmouth. But from all of us here, whatever you're doing, enjoy your afternoon. Bye for now. Finish beauty. Yeah, I mean this. Cut, you donkey cute. Well, I think it comes in the form of a chicken nugget, and at the same time, you accidentally saved the world, because I'm not yeah, there. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter where it comes from, it's chicken nugget. <laughs> 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 oh, it's chicken. It's always saving the world, didn't oh, yeah. it? By accident. There's lots of accidents. <laughs> Give it a shake. It's boil, um, boil some water, 500 uh, millilitres of water, over 500 grams of cast the sugar uh, and before you use them and the way to do that I, I like to just wash them and then put them in the oven at about I do about 150 degrees but make sure that you remove the um, swing top because it can sort of make the rubber kind of dry out and it oh. won't be sealed yeah so take the um, tops off do the bottles and then just wash the the tops and then that'll be making sure and also classy. they With teacher Eliza. Hi, uh, how are you? Hi, lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. I'm Stephen. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh. oh my gosh, literally. To start. Can you tell me what's in it? I oh, know, I can't tell you what's in it. It's a complete surprise. Most of it. <laughs> Cheers. How are you finding the drink? Yeah, really good. I love it. It's going down far too oh, easily I'm for so me. Glad. Far too easily. On the menu, it said dress to impress. You know, the hoop around you. Yeah. And you literally spin it and then move your hips with it. <laughs> He's way better than me. Are you joking? What? Why, Miss, she'll be on her knees worshipping in a minute. Now they've made room for Pud, a quick blender. But for Eliza and Flick...